Well, hello guys. So I am back today. Um, we just went over law enforcement, um, a really disgusting detective from South Florida. And now we're kind of going over to escape inmates. Yep, that's exactly it. Here's the story of Kyle Aaron Skaggs. Right now, Kentucky State Police are un on the hunt for him. Anybody with any information related to this escapee is, is asked to call uh, the Fleming uh, County Sheriff or the State Police there in Kentucky. Uh, here is the article. Hey guys, here is a breaking case coming out of Kentucky. Armed and dangerous, an inmate escapes custody in Kentucky. So authorities are currently trying to locate an inmate who has escaped from custody in Kentucky this week. The inmate is Kyle Aaron Skaggs. This is the man right here um, on this feed. Is considered armed and dangerous according to Fleming County Sheriff's Office. Skaggs broke out of custody in Lexington, the Sheriff's Office said on Facebook, adding the, that he lived in Fleming's par prior added that he lived in Flemingsburg prior to his incarceration. The inmate is said to have left a home incarceration program at Hope Center, a shelter and a community service organization Monday, according to CBS affiliate WKYT. Officials do not re did not reveal what Skaggs has been charged with or any other details about the circumstances of his incarceration, but they are asking anyone that has seen this man to please call in to the Fleming County Sheriff's Department and or the Kentucky State Police Department um, at 606-845-2121. And again, the State Police is 606-784-4127. Again, this is Skaggs. He is believed to be armed and dangerous. He uh, escaped, and there was. Uh, this follows a series of other prison breaks from inmates in Mississippi, Virginia, and Pennsylvania. In April, four inmates, Corey Harrison, Casey Grayson, Jerry Raines, and Dylan Arling Arrington, escaped from Raymond Detention Center near Jackson, allegedly with the help of an acquaintance now charged with aiding and abetting. The last of the Mississippi escapees, Harrison, was captured earlier this month after extensive manhunt that covered multiple states. Arrington and Grayson were each found dead, and the former inmate was wanted in connection with the pastor's murder and carjacking in Jackson. Then over the weekend, authorities in Philadelphia said two inmates escaped a detention center by cutting a hole in the fence surrounding the property. The inmates have been identified as a mean Hearst who is accused of shooting um, the shooting death of four people in uh, Nazaire, if I'm pronouncing it right, Grant, Police said they do not. Uh, they did not learn of the inmates' escape from Philadelphia Inster Industrial Correction Center until Monday afternoon, about 18 hours after the escape supposedly took place the previous evening. And I want to go into that a little bit more, maybe on another uh, uh, discussion, because there's a lot of protocols in place so things like this don't happen where inmates are out for 18 hours. Also this month, two inmates escaped in jail in Virginia, uh, Alder Marin uh, Sotelo, who was charged with uh, 2022 killing of a North Carolina sheriff deputy, and he was captured in Mexico. The other one was uh, Bruce Callahan, and he was taken into custody on a college campus in Virginia early Monday. So all of them have been uh, captured except him. He is now out. He left his home. Please, if anybody has seen him, don't forget to please call law enforcement at the numbers that I had provided to you, which are right there. Fleming County Sheriff's Department 606-845-2121 or the State Police at 606-784-4127. See what I'm saying? And not only that, but I went further down the article and it started listing off several other escapees from different states. This is the fourth state in a matter of, uh, of a few months. And I'm just sitting here scratching my head thinking, is there some kind of coordination going on on these computers? You know, they have computers now. They can pay for time to go on 
Facebook and other places? Are they communicating with other people? How is this all happening around the country and why is it all happening at the same time? And furthermore, there's one that we were discussing uh, in that article where it took 18 hours to find out if that person uh, that or, or to find out that that person had escaped. Like there are so many pol policies and procedures inside uh, detention centers, inside any kind of um, uh, facility that houses uh, patients or inmates. And it's the head counts. You're required to do a head count every so often. So I'm unsure how this happened, how there was an 18 hour window on that. But I know